well done, Ellie. You've got 800 free silver and under the world's qualification time. How pleased are you with that one? Um, I'm very pleased, obviously, just to go in there and do what I can do. I was hoping to get that time, and that's what I did. And hopefully, I'll be picked for the world's team, but fingers crossed. The, the time was quite quick, and you'd only beaten it one time previously in the final of British Champs last year. Was there ever any doubt in your mind that you might make it? Um, there was never a doubt, to be honest. I just wanted to go out there and do what I can, and I obviously wanted to make a PB for this year because obviously I've not been near that time this year, and it's been a bit of a struggle to get there through training and whatever, but. It's because of the downfall after the Olympic Games, everyone has that downer. I think it was a bit of that, but obviously I've gone out there and I've shown what I can do. And how important was it to you to improve on last year and show that you're still moving forward? Uh, it was very important, obviously. I've done that now and I've shown people I am moving forward still. And I have got something left in me, obviously, and for Rio in a few years' time. And hopefully I'll be there and hopefully on the medal table, but we'll see what happens. It was um, the first 800 free final in a British Champs without Becky Adlington for quite a while but you and Jazz were still swimming very quick times I mean was it noticeably different for you? Um, um, not to be honest because obviously Becky was obviously an amazing swimmer obviously and she's always that far in front you can never see her in the first place so she's, it's just a matter of getting in there and doing what you can obviously Jazz is in front of me at the minute so it's just a, another person on the way to keep going. Okay.